Good evening, my friends. Hello. Uh, welcome again. So here we have Hello, class teacher. number. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Class number 14. Yes, that's it. Almost finished. Ya casi para terminar esta semana. So I hope you have a good day. So here we have Mardo again. So hello there. Kenya Claribel. Thank you. Claribel. Okay. Um, do you like Claribel or just Kenya? Just dos me gusta. Oh. Nice. Carito, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. I'm watching. Or, uh, yes, I'm watching the list. And you have just Carolina. You don't have second name, right? You yes, mentioned sir. that the first day, I guess. Yes. No second name. Okay. Good. No confusion. And here we have also Luis. Hello, Luis. And Steffi. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. Oh. Nice. Nice to see you. Steffi with straight hair. Steffi con el cabello liso de nuevo. Hello. And Fíjate, Steffi, que te parece así con a una compañera de trabajo que tuve hace tiempo. Que a saber qué se ha hecho. Sí. Pero no. Ella era inquieta y vos estás tranquila. Yo soy un angelito. Mm. Ok. Let's say yes. Solo con el peinado. Bye. <laughs> ok. Nice. Qué barbaridad. Uh -huh. La verdad, o será libres. Elisa Pilha. Hello. Hello, teacher. Better? Uh, A little bit? Much better. Much better, better. okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay, that's, I, I like to hear that. And here we have a new girl with no glasses, Lisette Garcia Lemos. Hello, Lisette. Hello. Tenemos una chica nueva aquí, así que, ok, so welcome to the class. Ok, ok, perfect. Um, let's see, we're going to check this. The topic is simple present for temporary situations, ok? Simple present for temporary situations. It means things that happens just in that in the moment the bun is not well that is not going to take a long time uh, well yes a long long time no at all much tiempo okay so here we have ways to say i hate forma de decir yo odio realmente detesto algo okay i can't bear sé que bear significa oso pero yo no puedo oso no I can't bear, es como que no pueden soportar. I can't tolerate, it's a synonym, tolerate, okay. I detest, I detest, yeah. And the team, it annoys me. Annoys es molest, es el verbo molestar, annoy. Pero como es tercera persona, agregamos S, it annoys me. Y mi favorita, I can't stand is no support i can't stand okay so you can say i can't stand well or i detest noisy neighbors i'm sorry this is, uh, um noisy neighbors loud music trash okay let's say uh, mention the things that you don't like here we have noisy neighbors, loud music, trash on the street, gossip, gossipers, people smoking, nasty words, shouts, lies. Okay, so. What is shouts, excuse me? Shouts, gritos, como la canción de Beatles, que le dije la vez pasada, twist and shout. Twist es girar, twist and shout. Okay, uh, well, twist es girar, shout es gritar. De hecho, sí hay una canción que se de Tears for Fears, que se llama Shout. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Tell me, mention one of this and add uh, something that you hate, that you don't like, something that you definitely uh, detest, okay? 
So you can say, for example, um, you can say um, music or whatever. Okay. So think about it. Piensen, piensen en qué realmente les qué les molesta. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to present with this. Okay, so let's start with Kenya and then Carito. Okay, so Kenya, tell me some, tell me one of these, and then mention. You can use uh, one of this vocabulary that you can see, or you can have your proper or your own opinion about something that you don't like. Okay. Okay, mm teacher. -hmm. Les digo lo que a mí no me guste. Yes, one, mention one, menciona uno de estos y de ahí complemento lo que me dice. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I can't build. Y uno de abajo. Si quieres. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice impuntualidad en inglés? <laughs> punctual. Punctual. I can be punctual. 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 On, well, yes, on punctual. I'm sorry, it's on. Mm -hmm. on. Ah, on punctual. I can be a punctual. On punctual people, right? People, colleagues, or whatever. Okay. Or on punctuality, ya es impuntualidad. Punctuality. But on punctual people, or punctual friends, on punctual colleagues, that's it. Well, en Good. general, teacher, porque yes, yes. soy, me molesta eso que yo digo que las very... que llegan con media hora después. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí. So, thank you. Quiero okay. have Carito que se soltó el cabello, que ahora viene lo bueno, right? Es que me veo muy redonda con el cabello recogido, teacher. Really, y con el cabello suelto, ya cambia. Menos peor, menos no, peor. No, cambia el glamour, como... Okay, I detest go to the van and wait a lot, and I can stand noisy neighbors. Yes, do you have noisy neighbors? Yes, okay. for theory in the morning. And what do they do? Can I you don't say? Know. <laughs> ah, okay, no. okay. Like Maybe. exercise, hey, like. Your Milona. Exercise at 4 a.m. Okay, let's yeah. say exercise. Okay. Kick the kick. He kicks the uh, wall. How the, the wall? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. See some bastante ruidos. Okay. Thank Another you. kind of thing, but I don't. I don't have. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, Carito. Okay. So thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's listen now to uh, Luis and then Elisa. Okay, teacher. I I detest nasty word, words. Okay, nasty words. Yes. Uh, Más palabra, vocabulario sucio. Well, that's it, of course. Uh, thank you. Sí. And Elisa and Carlita. Okay. I detest screams. Yeah, screams. Screams. Es igual que shouts, es como gritos. Solo que shouts, normalmente, uh, shouts are cuando ustedes, you are shouting uh, someone calling her, her or his name, cuando lo llaman por su nombre. Pero scream, a veces cuando está, cuando es una carcajada, cuando te asustan, so that's scream. But yeah, that's, that, that's disgusting because the, the volume. Okay. Thank you, Elisa. Carly, ¿por qué te pusiste los lentes? Se lo hubiera quitado. Sí, estaba. Bueno, así. Es. Okay. Y tipo, tipo Clark Kent en Superman. Ok. ¿Mm? Um, eh, skip loudly. No sé si se dice bien. Hablar fuerte. Ah, speak loudly. Loud. Uh -huh. de, viene loud. de esa palabra. Loudly. Uh -huh. loudly. Speak loudly. There are so people that they speak loudly and there are some others that speak very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Otros que hablan bien, suavecito, como hormiguitas. Mm -hmm. Y otros que hablan 
Someone said, okay. Yes, that, that's good point. Como los vecinos de Cari. And here we have also Steffi and Gabriel. Okay, Steffi. I detect the light. La vida. Light, light. Light, la luz. Las mentiras. Ah, lies. Lies. Ajá, ¿y tú no dices mentiras? No. Ok, no. ni siquiera estas. Ni piadosas. White lies, mentiras piadosas. No. <risa> no, ok, o sea que dice Steffi que ella nunca ha dicho mentiras. A creerle. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel and then Wilfredo, please. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, I got the uh, trash on the street. Ah, yes, trash on the street. I, me too. Me too. I, I, I really detest uh, trash on the street, especially plastic bags and some envelopes and boltores and all those things. I really hate them. Thank you, Gabriel. Wilfredo and then Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Um, I did this uh, smoking. Ah, okay. Smoking. Yes, smoking. Okay. Yes, uh, fumar. Mm, and specifically when you are in narrow places, when you are in lugares pequeños, and there are some other uh, people smoking, that's not that's not so good, right? Okay, thank you, Oscar. And then we go with Joa. Hello, Oscar. No, uh, people smoking. Okay, I detest or I can bear people smoking. Thank you, Joa, and then Carlos. I detest people smoking and reggaeton. Come on, Joa. You don't like reggaeton. No. No sé por qué pensaba que quizás sí. I thought, sí, why not? But if you say no, no problem. Okay. Uh, let's listen to Carlos and then Mardo. I can my phone. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? I can, I can, oh, no, no. No te capto. Lo que pasa, Carlos, es que siempre te escuchas bien lejos. Entonces, haz una sugerencia, es que utilizas, si tienes audífonos, te escucharías más claro. Entonces, oh, ajá, no, no te capto. Es difícil captar. Ok, I, I, I can, I know, no, no. Mucho ruido. No, 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 easy. Ok. No, no, easy. Ajá. okay good. Sí, como recomendación, Carlos, porque la, es, te voy a ser sincero, todos estos días he hecho un esfuerzo sobrehumano para escucharte. Porque okay, cuesta un okay. poquito. Es que lo que pasa es que tu espacio es un poquito amplio. Uh -huh. Es por sí, eso. Sí, ok. Good. Eh, let's okay. listen to Mardo. Hello. Now. Hello. In San Salvador. Yes, right? Yes, in San Salvador. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, mention one I of detest, this. I detest garlic in soap. Yes, I don't like it, but it is necessary. It is necessary yeah. for, yes, it's necessary for any kind of food, but the flavor and sabor, uh, I don't like it either, but it is necessary. Tranquila, cariño, está indignada también. No somos compatibles. Okay, I'm sorry. Mardo. Sorry. Teacher. Sí, por eso no. Por eso, por eso, Carito, no me gusta tu aliento. Ok. <risa> <risa> ok. That's much Casi no como ajo, pero sí me gusta, Marta. <risa> Nunca estamos vale. tan cerca, no invento. Ya huele, no mentira. Bueno, no, okay. broma, I, really no. like, I really like ajo. Estamos Carly. todavía con la distancia, ¿verdad? Cuiden su distancia. Ok, nice. Vale. Now, that, Adonai. And then we go with Andres. Yes, I don't know. I detest bad odors uh, behind me, see, at home. I'm sorry, could you repeat? Uh, 
You are talking about motorcycles, about driving, or what? No. Habla sobre manejar y conducir. No. I detest. ¿Qué dijiste? Uh, oh, sí, yes, and uh, uh, en la carretera. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Andrés, are you there? Yes. I detest uh, Coca Cola. Not really good. That's that's really good. It is it is yes. better to drink water or what about fresh uh, or natural drinks? Natural refreshment, yes. Uh, water, uh, uh, isotonic, okay. uh, bebidas isotonic. <laughs> you are very healthy. That, that's good. That's nice. Congratulations. Okay, so here, as I was uh, saying, these are these different forms to say I, I hate. ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando decimos I can't bear, bear. ¿verdad? Si ustedes dicen beer, se refieren a la cerveza. Si ustedes dicen, si ustedes dicen, beard, beard, se refieren a la barba. Ok. Bear, beer, y esa es como la cerveza, pero con D. Beard. Ok. Y a veces dice bird. Bird. Oigan bien. Bear. Beer, beard, bird. Entonces, esta se parece con esa, solo que aquí lleva una D. Ok, repito. Beer, uh, bear, beer, beard, bird. Ok, se la puede poner así. Lo que pasa es que esto, esto, that, that, that confuses a, a lot. You see? Pues voy a poner juntos las que se parecen. ¿okay? ok. Aquí tenemos bear y aquí bird. Okay. Bear, bird. Es el, la misma pronunciación, solo que tiene la D. Debe sonar bastante. Oigan bien. Bear y bird. Bear, bird. Y aquí igualmente. Beer y aquí beard. Si le quitas, si hacemos la D, sonarían igual. Pero la D hace la diferencia. Okay? Bear, bird. Beer, beard. ¿Mm? Bear significa oso. Bird eh, significa ave. Beer, cerveza. Que okay, es jueves. Y beard significa bar. Ok. So that's la, like difference. For you to, to have it clear. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's continue with this. Yesterday we were talking about present continuous, okay? But uh, before we go to the topic, let's start with this. Do you think natural medicine is effective? Why? And since we have like a person who likes natural things, let's listen to Andres. Andres, are you ready with your answer? Because uh, I see that you are very athletic and you practice sports and all those things. Maybe you, you can uh, have a, an opinion about this or do you need time? Andres, well, I guess he needs time. But to start, maybe we can have Carito, maybe. Any idea? Pobre Carito, la agarré ahí. Ajá. Se fue el yes, inter un momento. Ah. Okay. Andrés, vamos a esperar que se estabilice el internet, ok? No problem. Eh, Carito, are you ready with this opinion? Have to try. Always, teacher. Always ready. Okay. ok. Do you think natural medicine is effective? I think yes, it helps in many cases and different ailments, but you have to be careful because sometimes traditional medicine is necessary. Ok, yes, traditional like, like drugs or, or pharmacy right? Uh, when you go to, to the doctors, you sometimes you need pills, okay? So that's yes. it. Okay. Pills as pastillas, okay? Um, thank you, Carito. Well, Carito, have you tried natural medicine for any disease, any yes. illness? Uh, 
I try natural and traditional medicine for the sinusitis. Oh, really? Okay. And did it work? Funcionó? <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Ay, Dios. Okay. Did it have testimonio como que no mucho? Okay. Sí, no, ya. Okay. I need surgery. Ah, uh, surgery, really. Surgery, sorry. Plastic yes. surgery or... or, or Gracias, no. teacher, no. <laughs> no, I'm not asking, I'm not asking. <laughs> but if you want, okay. But yes, that affects a lot uh, the breathing, el, 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 de, de respiración, all those things, yes. Yes, and the allergy. Ah, uh, yes, that's it, to the allergy. Okay, good. Okay, thank you, Carito, very nice. Andres, what about your internet? Are you okay? Because maybe you are having some problems. Okay, if Andres is not ready, let's listen to Joa and then Mardo. Okay, Joa, what do you think about this? Okay, yes. In some cases, natural medicine worked. In my experience, I have been fighting fatal cancer for six months. Okay. Uh, um, I have been taking medicine that helped me raise my defense. Mm -hmm. Notify the disease because it's somewhat complicated, but it has helped my immune system. Okay, that's, that, that, that's good because instead of, instead, in lugar de, instead of taking pills and a, a lot of medicine with chemicals, you have used natural medicine. And as you say, it works, right? Good for you. Okay, keep on doing it. See, I see. Okay, Mardo, are you ready? And then we go with Wilfredo. I'm not ready, teacher. All righty, okay. I'm Wilfredo ready. and then Adonai. Wilfredo, ready? Uh, is it is effective? It takes longer to help, but L L K down chemical medicine. Okay, that's it. Yes, yes. Well, it's kind of effective. Adonai, and then Kenya. Yes, is it? It is a good option for various treatments, and there are not many side effects. Oh, good. Side effects. Very interesting word. Side effects son efectos secundarios. Okay. Yes, and it happens sometimes when you take pills, you have like an allergy, right? Because of the chemicals. And you have like a bad reaction in your body. And those are called side effects. Uh, thank you, Donai. Very nice. Uh, Kenya and then uh, Oscar. Okay, teacher. Uh, yes, on the one hand, because I have friends who have been here when this medication, but on the other hand, doctors do not recommend, recommend. recommend it because it can cure a disease, but it can damage another organ of our body. Our body, that's a very good opinion, Kenya. Doctors are not, not always recommend this kind of uh, medicine because mm -hmm. as Kenya said, yes, you can, uh, well, you, you can damage one of your organs, but as far as I know, until I know, uh, people mm -hmm. don't get hurt. <laughs> no, 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 no sale afectada. If you drink natural medicine, eh, controlled, controladamente, mm -hmm. right? Controlado. No, no, extreme, remember that all extremes are, are negative. Okay. Sí, lo que pasa es que mi abuela fue una vez consulta con mi abuela y le preguntó al doctor que le habían recetado un medicamento natural y le dijo la, el doctor a mi abuela de que sí, dice, te puedo curar eso, pero sabías que tiene, si lo tomas, Por mucho tiempo te va a dañar otros organismos. Yes, that's what they say. Entonces, okay. ¿qué tiene que ser con, con medida? Yes, yes, controlled. 
Okay, thank you, Kenya. Very nice. Okay, okay. teacher. Uh, we go with Gabriel. I ah, know Oscar and Gabriel, I guess, right? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> well, in my opinion, is 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 effective. At present, there are many clinic or laborator, laboratory of natural medicine. And many people who suffer from some disease visit natural clinic and most the then work for yeah. them for them. But according but according to many doctors and the science ciencia or the medicine they don't know work. Yeah. Okay, we have science, as you said. Yes. Well, and there are some laboratories, but we have to take care of, of the things that we take, okay? Because not all the things are 100% good, right? So that's it. Thank you. And we go with Gabriel and then Edwin. Okay, Gabriel. Um, my opinion, yes. Uh, it is slower to cast affect food. Um, it is healthier and they combat uh, the problem without harming our organism. Yes, that's it. Yes, uh, it can help you uh, to, it can cure you, te puede curar, okay, without hurting sin lastimar other organs. Yes, that's it. If you take it in a controlled way. Thank you, Gabriel. And Edwin. Okay, Edwin, please. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. I, I think it's, it is effective if you say correctly, because it helps in the treatment of many diseases and those not have the body like chemical medicine is it is also cheaper and easy to find yeah that's it then a lot of medicine that are given in the hospitals in the pharmacies on the drugstore it contains a lot of chemicals and that affects you long term a largo plazo long term uh, it affects your body that's it Okay, so uh, thank you, Edwin. And uh, otra palabra que es treatment es tratamiento. Okay, treat have pills, eh, pastillas, illness, enfermedad, igual que disease. Okay, no significa funciona. Okay, um, creo que se me está en internet. Yo, se me corta el audio. No, y el video. No, y el video está. Ahorita no, pero ya rato sí se quedó. Está perfecto para un sticker, pero Thank yo tuve you. compasión. Gracias, Joa, gracias, Joa. Así me gusta que me tengan compasión. Instead of significa en lugar de side effects, efectos secundarios, cure, es cura. Así como había un grupo que se llamaba The Cure. Y Poison es veneno, que también hay un grupo que se llamaba Poison, eh, de Glam Metal, de los ochentas. En mi juventud. Ok, damage, eh, daño. Science is ciencia, chemicals, chemicals long term, a largo plazo, treatment is a tratamiento. Okay, so this is part of the vocabulary that we have used and vocabulary that can be applied for this kind of questions. Okay, we continue now. Remember this, right? Uh, here we have affirmatives, that's, we study affirmatives, we study negatives, and we have studied the questions, okay? We have studied the questions and obviously uh, the verbs. When verbs that change when we add ing, the verb también cuando lo agregamos ing. So here we have some easy, easy sentences. Tenemos uh, oraciones fáciles y nos vamos a basar en esto. Okay, this is the format. This is the format. What is he doing? When are you coming? Where is uh, she heading to? Okay, so very easy. 
This is the format and um, we're going to, I'm going to check the attendance list. Meanwhile, you look at this, okay? And then I'm going to ask for volunteers and I hope you can be ready for uh, completing this uh, exercises. Okay, so say hello if you are there. Andres, hello. Carlos. Hello, teacher. Thank you, Carito. Present teacher. Nice, Edwin. Okay, um, Elisa. Present teacher. Thank you, Steffi. Present. Gabriel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jackie. I don't know if Jackie is here. Uh, Patty. Okay, uh, Joa. Aquí estoy. Carla. Carlita. Hola. Oh, Kenia. Present teacher. Luis. You. Present teacher. Nice. Mardo. Present teacher. Good. Oscar. Raquel. No, Raquel. Present. Um, esos ánimos, Raquel. Me recuerdan cuando yo estaba así como de. Hoy no, teacher, lo siento. Hoy no, ¿verdad? No tenemos así, ok. I understand you. Rosie. Walter. No. William. Hola. Ok, Walter, hello. Uh, William. No. Marvin. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay, William. Good. Thank you. Present. Nice. And Wilfred. Present, teacher. Okay. Good. So, do we have volunteers for these uh, exercises? Uh, they are like uh, kind of easy, right? Do we have volunteers? If not, I'm going to select some of you to participate. For example, I'm going to Select Luis. Okay, Luis. Tell me one. Teacher number five. Number five. Let's go there. Uh, when are they coming? Yes. Yes. Easy. Coming. When are they coming? That's it. Okay, good. Um, Carito. Yes. Okay, number one, what are you doing? Yes. Easy, what are you? Thank you. Uh, any other? Okay, for this, I'm going to select to Edwin and then Joa. Okay. Okay. Uh, the number six. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, do you traveling? Uh -uh. No, aquí no estamos utilizando el do you. Estamos utilizando el verbo to be y con el tiene que. Okay, te voy a dar tiempo. Okay. Joa, what about you? Uh, la number four. La number four. Who are you talking? Are you talking? Talking, talking, talking. Talking to. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Carly and then Elisa. Carly, are you ready? Nine. Nine. No. Where yes, is Carly. he staying? Staying. Staying, yes. Staying. Where is she? Como la canción de la Bigis, staying alive. Okay. Staying. Staying. And we go with Edwin. 
And then, ¿a quién más le había dicho? Ah, Elisa. Ok, Elisa, and then Edwin. Ok, Elisa. Ok, number three. Ok. We are eliping, we are eliping the cat. Vaya, where, ajá, uh -huh, is. Where is. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sleeping. Where is, mm -mm, el sujeto primero. Where is the cat? Ah, uh, the cat sleeping. Yes, sleeping. Okay, thank you. And we have Edwin and then Walter. Okay, Edwin. Okay, uh, number six. How are you traveling? Yes. How are you traveling? Okay, Walter, you go. Yes. Sería la última. Ok. Um, how much beer you're drinking? Casi. Are you drinking? Ok. Thank you. Ok, Carlos. You go. Ok. What do you get? What do you get? Get? Perdón. Uh, why? La... La number uh -huh. eight. It's el, uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ajá. Eight, ajá. Uh, what? What? What do you? Casi. What, what I am? What? Ah, okay. What I am? Uh -huh. um, what am I? Y el verbo con ING se dice? Eighteen. Alright, ready, ready. Okay, ready. okay. Okay, good. And we have also thanks, Mardo. If you have an idea, and Gabriel. Number two. Okay. Why is the girl laughing? Yes, is the girl laughing? Laughing. Um, Cuando vean GH se pronuncia como F. Love, love. Ok, good. Eh, Gabriel, how many cakes? It's... No, no, no. No, 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 no entiendo. Ok, no problem. Let's ask to... Any idea, Andrés? Is... Eh, puede mover un poquito el recuadro para ver completo. Ahí está. Uh -huh. eh, sería how, how, are, uh, how are you traveling? No, la de abajo es How ah, many perdón. cakes? Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. How many cakes? Eighteen, y ahí no sé cómo. No sé. Yes, Eighteen yes. es el, el verbo. Yes, it is. Is it? Is it? it is. Yes, thank you. Okay. okay. Bueno. Nice. And so here we have these uh, sentences. Now we have like a, a, a very clear idea about how to use uh, questions for, for present uh, continuous. Okay. Uh, Esto ya son los que hicimos ayer. So no problem with this. Okay. And here we have this. How to use present continuous WH questions, cosa que ya empezamos a hacer. So, uh, esta dice que las preguntas con WH ask for specific information, o sea que preguntan información muy específica. La estructura va pues de esta manera. La WH, por ejemplo, what, where, how, sea. Luego va el verbo to be. How are you doing? What is she eating? Por ejemplo, sujeto. Verbo en ING y complemento. Okay, so um, uh, is you see, as you see, what, when, where, why, which, who, how. Pero aquí tenemos which. A ver, le voy a preguntar a Joa, any idea about what is which in Spanish? No me recuerdo. ¿Cuál es? Which? No. No, okay. Uh, what if Walter? Edwin, which? Esperar. Casi, casi. Pero no. Mm -mm. 
es una pregunta, es una palabra que. ¿Cuál? Teacher ¿Cuál? no es cuál. ¿Cuál? Yo le ¿Cuál? dije cuál es. ¿Cuál es? Tí? ¿Cuál? No. Yo no me dijiste cuál es. No sé cuál. Sí, es. teacher. Joana dije dijo cuál y yo por eso dije es pero, cuál. Pero dijo no sé cuál, quizás. No, es ah. cuál. Es ah, pues. cuál. Which? ¿Cuál? Which? Bueno, ya estoy viejito, entiendan. Okay. So. Es como, teacher, le salió así como cuando nos hizo la pregunta de lo del, lo del dinero de la caro. Ah, sí, el dinero de carito. <risa> que yo le doy pista a la carito todos los meses. Ok. Mm -hmm. Examples. Here we have this. One, two, three. Ok. So, let's listen to some of you. Help me, please. Um, Elisa, number one. Luis, number two. Okay. Why is he me? Why is he meeting the new people today? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué está conociendo o oh, por qué va a conocer eh, nueva gente hoy? Uh -huh. Ah, porque bla, 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 bla. Okay. Okay, Luis, number two. And then we go with uh, Carly, number three. Gwen is the new office launching. Okay, ¿cuándo es el lanzamiento? Launch es el, el lanzamiento. ¿Cuándo es el ¿Cuándo va a ser el lanzamiento de la nueva oficina? Mm, it is launching mm -hmm. on. Se va a lanzar el. Carly, three. Where? Where is your boss having the annual meeting? meeting? Okay. ¿Cuándo va a tener eh, su jefe la reunión anual? In September, in December, whatever. Okay, fill in the blanks using the words in parentheses. What company are you working for? That's the question. What company are you working for? Okay, so now let's listen to some of you. And Adonai, you're going to help me with one sentence. And then Carlos. Okay, Adonai, two, three, four, or five. Number two. Three, four, or five. How, how are uh, the group dividing? Casi. How are. Uh, estamos hablando de él. How is. How is. The group dividing. Cuatro. Dos y dos son cuatro. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, and then we go with uh, Walter. Okay, teacher. Number three. When is, when is she hiding handy. the handy? Okay, the checks. Yes, good. The checks. ¿Cuándo va a entregar los checks? Pero que ya. Okay, and Walter, and then Carito. Sería cuatro, cuatro. Which factory are your boat visit? Design? Design. Sería is. Porque estamos hablando de tu jefe que puede ser él o ella. Ahora, siempre que veamos your... Y una palabra después que sea un sustantivo como your mother, your boss, your sister. Siempre vamos a tener is. Siempre. A menos que diga your sisters, your cousins, tus hermanas, tus primos. Ahí ya cambia. Ahí sería are. Pero de lo contrario es siempre es is. Casi siempre. Ok, Carito. Why? Tell me why. Ok. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Yes. Working. That's it. Can you see? It is not so difficult. Right? Very easy. Perfect. Now let's continue with uh, this. Here we have this. Think of some future events of your classmates. Write five questions to ask your classmates about those events. Take note of your answers. Bien. Aquí dice cinco preguntas, pero solo vamos a hacer tres. Ok. We're going to uh, create five questions. Cre vamos a crear cinco preguntas. 
preguntas, ¿ok? Cinco preguntas de lo que va a ser eh, en eso. Vamos a tener, aquí tenemos algunos. ¿no? Por ejemplo, when are you having, le voy a dar unos ejemplos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, when are you having dinner with your mom? Porque no todos viven con su mamá, right? So, when are you having dinner with your mom? Podemos eh, escribir, eh, where are you going on Saturday? Donde irás el sábado. When are you going on Saturday? Um, let's see. What are you going to to eat tomorrow? ¿Qué vas a comer mañana? What are you going to eat tomorrow? What are you going to eat for lunch tomorrow? Okay, just examples. What? Oh, uh, oh, when are you going to watch TV? ¿Cuándo vas a ver televisión? When are you going to the movies? ¿Cuándo vas a ir a las, a las, al cine? When are you going to the gym? ¿Mm? Entonces, los más comunes son uh, what, where, when. Podemos utilizar how, of course. We can use why uh, or which. Right? So that's it. Uh, please... Eh, write those questions, escriban, eh, digamos, algunas preguntas. Eh, those are just examples, solo son ejemplos, right? And so, write five questions, and then we're going to uh, working groups. Vamos a trabajar, bueno, en, en, en parejas, ¿verdad? So, be ready. Okay. Comenzamos. Hagan sus preguntas, y pues, los veo en un momento. Voy a crear los grupos, right? Tienen que escribir, uh, recuerden, eh, tienen que escribir um, así. La pregunta y la respuesta, right? A sus tres preguntas. Perfecto. Sí, en un momento. Eh, denme 45 segundos. 45 segundos al menos. Okay, see you. Walter, necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Igual Oscar, Andrés, Stephanie, Carlos.
Oscar, necesito que aceptes la solicitud, please. Do I practice sports? Mm, no. But... Teacher, oh, perdón. Teacher, solo eran formar preguntas, ¿verdad? Eran tres preguntas y anotar las respuestas. Ándale. Ah, Ay, no, que no. me andas distraída. No, teacher. Es que eh, ahí fue que me, me puse a formar una pregunta y ahí no la entendí. Okay. De lo de, de contestar la, la, la respuesta. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ok, ya lo vamos a hacer. Gracias. <risa> no, estaba, no estaba equivocado. Ah. Sería Saturday for the... Uh, when are set you to the market? Set work. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una consulta. Sería, yo le, co le pregunto a él y él me daría la respuesta, ¿verdad? Yes, that's it. Y tú anotas ah. la respuesta, por ejemplo, when are you going to the beach? Y Carlos dice, I'm going to the beach in August. Tú escribes, agosto. August. Yeah. Okay. He is going to the beach in August. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Finish. ¿Ya terminaron acá? Eh, no. No, no, todavía no. Ah, todo asustado. No, no, no. Ok, nice. <risa> uh, household eating. Ajá. Uh -huh. Household eating. Eso, eso, es lo que me, eso es lo que me da el, el, el traductor. Sí, eso es lo que da. Household items. Household. Household. Primera vez en mi vida que, que veo esta palabra. Oscar, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué te saliste de la...? Ahí estoy, este, teacher. Lo que pasa es que no me contesta a Pati ni a Carlos. Eh, con Raquel creo que estabas. Ok, no hay problema. No, vamos, eh, vamos a... Carlos Ábrigo y, y Pati Morales. Ok, esperemos un momento. Sí, yo estaba, yo estaba con Raquel también y la plataforma me sacó. Ah, bueno, y yo estaba entonces... estaba con Walter también. 
Ah, pues, eh, practiquen por lo menos una pregunta cada uno. De ustedes, Oscar y Patti, ¿ok? Bueno. Oscar. Ok, sí, me escucho. Eh, with using, no, tendría que ser usando el is, ¿verdad? No, no exactamente. El, uh -huh, con el ing. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, Antes del de ING. Ajá, es que yo tenía with music instrument, no, with music instrument, do you play? Pero ahí estamos en presente, estamos eh, como para el futuro. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, with when are, you like uh, no. music? No. Es, necesitamos este, oraciones que tengan que. These are. Es que no logré ver la última pantalla porque me, se me salió. Ay, lo de abajo a ah, eso. Okay. Le hago captura ahí. Estas. Entonces sería igual is your occupation? No. Están. Estas son, estas son los ejemplos. ¿Lo puedes ver? Le tomaré captura ahí. Ok. Ajá. Y formula alguna pregunta. Besa ahí. Gracias. Usted ya lo hizo, Oscar. Oscar, creo que tiene, se apagó el micrófono. Ah, ok, sí, este, sí tengo dos, este, se las digo. No sé si también. ¿Me escucha? Sí, se escucha. Ok, este. Eh, when will you go to supermarket? You hear me? Escondite y camuflaje actual es el mejorando. Sería y... Solo una persona, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces sería... ¿Qué es la primera? We will go to the of the world. Este sería... Ahí, ahí. Iré cuando... Iré, ajá. I will go when. Ah, oh, ok. Voy a borrar aquí. Debe del whisky, ay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Igual a tres, la dos. Muy bien. No, pero ahí sería cuando irán. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá, sí, de ahí. Entonces estamos bien, solo esa era la que íbamos a mover. La, la, la duda. Uh -huh. Bueno, ojalá que salgamos bien. Ojalá que el teacher nos ponga 10. 20 la puedo poner. <risa> nice. I am Yo iría, I am este, pero iría. Bueno. Go. When? No, porque entonces usted me dice, when, yo, yo le estoy diciendo cuándo, usted me diría, 
I am going to Saturday or Sunday. Thing. Ok, Oscar, empate. Ok, thank you. Vamos a tener una pausa, ok? Porque ya estamos aquí con todos, compañeros. Ok, okay thank you very much. Eh, díganme una oración de lo que ellos van a hacer. Bueno, más bien, díganme una de las preguntas que ustedes hicieron. Quiero escuchar eh, esas preguntas. Ok. So, Carly, you start and then Kenny. Ok. When are you going to the movie? Thank you. That's nice. When are you going to the movie? Thank you. Vamos con Kenya. Solo una para avanzar. Thank you, Carly. Okay. Ed, Edwin. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. When are they going to go for the money? Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Tres pistas. Perfect. Edwin and then Joa. Edwin. Are you okay? Eh, teacher, eh, de un minutito ahí estoy. Okay, Joa, no problem. Joa and then Carito. Where are you going this year on vacation? Mm -hmm. Nice. Carito and then we go with William. Okay, I was going to ask about vacation, but uh, with what are you going to spend the vacation? With whom? Mm -hmm. With whom? With whom? Okay. Yes. With whom? Thank you. Nice, William. And then we go with um, Walter. Okay, teacher Gabriel will be Gabriel with will visit your family in vacation. Okay. Gabriel is going to be. Uh, is visiting. Is visiting. Mm -hmm. is yeah, Gabriel is going to visit your family in vacation. Okay, nice. Walter and then Elisa. Okay. Eh, bueno, no, yo tengo un poquito de duda, pero le puse, where are you going the gym? Are you okay. going the gym? Okay. okay. Yes, yes, that's okay. Where are you going to the gym? Elisa and Luis. Okay. When are you going to the supermarket? Wilfredo yeah. will go Saturday at night. Perfect. Please, another night. And uh, where are you reading the book? Yeah, that's it. Another night, Wilfredo. <laughs> when are you going? When are you going to go to the stadium? Okay, nice. Wilfredo and Carlos. Uh, when you go on vacation, Elisa are... goes on vacation first of November. Okay, nice. Uh, Carlos, and then we go with Andres. Okay. What day, what day are you going? I propose us. Carla will go tomorrow. Okay, good. Thank you. Carly, ah, no, ya me dijo Carly. Ok, good. Chico, que mañana con cosas. Andrés. Ok. Carolina, where do you lie now? Eh, she lies in Santa Tecla. Lives. Ah, she lives in Santa Tecla. Ok, where are you living? Ok, good. And Oscar and Patty. Uh, when will you go to supermarket? Okay, when are you going to the supermarket? Okay, thank you. Porque el will también se puede, pero en este caso como son con ING. Thank you, Oscar. And Patty? No sé si está bien, pero what are you Monday? Ah, what are you doing on Monday? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay, Edwin. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Sria. When you when you for a uh, walk in the park, okay. uh, Joanna me respondió. I am going to Sunday at two p.m. Okay, I'm going on Sunday. Thank you, thank you, Edwin. Very good question. Now here we have again. Do you think natural medicine is, is effective? And for this uh, opinion, I will need Luis. No sé si ya me contestó Luis. And then Mardo. No, teacher, todavía okay, no. Okay, please. Your turn, my friend. 
go. Uh, my my answer is yes. Uh, if it is effective, science is proven that uh, treatment diseases or ailments with this type of elements always turns out to be effective. And the best thing is that it is not harmful to the body. Okay. Yes, that's it. Okay. To be harmful. Very nice. Thank you, Luis. And now, Mardo, if you're ready, and then uh, Walter. No estoy listo, teacher. Okay. I, 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 I have a heavy day. Okay. A heavy day. No problem. Let's listen to Walter and then William. My opinion is, teacher, mm, but they, they're, they're, no sé cómo se dice la tratamiento. Treatment. Mm -hmm. The treatment, treatment is more. It is more long. It's más largo. El tratamiento es más largo. It's longer. Okay, it's longer. Okay, thank you. And William, what about you? Are you ready? Okay, teacher. Um, in my opinion, is an effective. Yeah, I prove in in some occasion a uh, natural medicine in natural medicine. Uh, for example, I uh, <laughs> the <laughs> ¿cómo se llaman estas las cosas estas de los rasquitos estos que vienen de 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 este Venga, mí. que se llama <laughs> or what? Marihuana. I was going to say that. <laughs> for example, this uh, I forget that is the name. Um, okay. Marihuanol. Es que hay una, hay una, Herbalife. Herbalife. No, hay una, hay una, hay un brebaje que se llama Venga a mí. Ajá, it's like, <laughs> it contains Venga, Venga. I don't know what other things. Okay, no, de eso say, no le enseñe la cara, de eso no le enseñe la cara, por favor. La gente dice, ah, carito. Te voy a vender, carito. Hay un. Okay, William. For example, for example, this polvo de pico de mapache. mapache. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, in, in, in Excuse me. Case, I believe that. Okay. Nice. That this is effective in occasion. In yeah. occasion. Effective in occasion. Thank you, William. <laughs> Good examples. And Carito, yep. Technical question. What is polvo de mapache? I but ya la he escuchado, la he visto it's varias veces, polvo. pero no sé. It's, it's not polvo, right? <laughs> Como que what según, is... según, según lo que ella escucha. Te lo digo, te lo digo. Ah, okay. y es como que el mapache lo maten y luego dice que en su órgano sexual y, y luego dicen de que lo hacen polvo. Okay. Lo hacen tostado es? y lo hacen polvo. Para ok. Y, y luego como que... Yes, luego, no, no, no. Luego como... No, como que de hecho de eso, si, por ejemplo, a, a mí me gusta alguien. A mí me gusta alguien y no me hace caso con ese polvo de mapache. Ok, that's eh, the reason. Me va a hacer caso. Como el agua de calzón. Que, yes, tranquila, carita, tranquila. Ok, relax. Uh, remember we're in class. Yo me lo pongo en las manos. Yo me lo pongo en las manos. Yes. And then. Ok. <laughs> yes. Yo toco a alguien y, y luego eso como que hace efecto para que la atraiga algo así. No ok. Sé, yo, so no sé it is like love potion. Como una poción de amor. Like similar to that. Ok. Ah, ok. Yeah, Thank you. Love. I really yeah. doesn't know that. Uh, you didn't know that. Ok. Gracias But... por la información. Yeah. Tenga okay. cuidado, teacher, con las preguntas que hace. Mire. I guess. <laughs> con lo que Maña le damos mañana. Cuenta. Mañana le amplio la, la información en la empresa, Carito. Ok. <laughs> ok. Um, I guess you have a lot of doubts. Creo que tienen muchas dudas. No lloré, Carly, tranquila. Uh, but thank you for the information. I guess it is interesting to know a lot of things. Right, Steffi? It is good to know. Right, Kenya? It is, knowledge is always good. Conocimiento siempre es bueno. 
Okay, William. Nice. Thank you for the, for the examples. And after talking about Mapache and all those things, we go now with Carly. Okay, Carly. Okay. <clears throat> In my opinion, the natural medicine is too effective than the other because this medicine don't have a clinical a what hurts our, our body. Okay, okay. So it doesn't have like a enough evidence of basement no tiene como fundamentos tal vez a eso te refieres o, o soporte or something like that no not necessarily no no okay no. well but it's another option right thank you carly very good and uh, what if we listen now to ellie Ah, no, Elisa se viene con todo. Ok, Elisa, relax, ok. Ella nos va a hablar de otro tipo de medicamento. No, no, ese en el campo. Ella va a hablar para la juventud. Tomorrow, tomorrow. No, tomorrow, Elisa, tomorrow, in the morning. Ok. Ok, ya serio. <laughs> ok, Elisa. Bueno, serio. Do you think natural medicine is effective? Yes. It is good depending on the suffered ailment. Why? Because natural of alternative medicine has been said since ancient, ancient times, chicken it chicken it is effectivity. And, and a lot of natural medicine is used today in pharmaceutical. Yep, that's totally true because it, the substances of the flowers and the plants are taken and but they combine with chemicals and then produce medicine right but from ancient times as ellie says yes that that's true our yes uh well our ancestors nuestros ancestors our ancestors they use a lot of natural men medicine and that was well they have like different types of treatment for illnesses that they knew, the para 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 enfermedades que ellos conocían. But when Europeans came, that was very different because they didn't know flu, no conocían la gripe, for example, and some other uh, illnesses. But well, thank you, Elisa. That's uh, very nice. I mean, Elisa se pone bien seria a veces, sometimes, right, Eli? But I like. Después me contás, Elisa, también después me contás. Ok, what if we listen to Steffi? Steffi. Steffi, are you there? Okay. ok. Yes, they are less aggressive to mm -hmm. be body usually have no or minimal seed effects. Ok. Thank you for the words. They are less aggressive to the body. Son menos agresivas, menos dañinas. Harmful is dañino. So uh, if you consume like the extract of the plants, the nectar, it, if you have like the, with a small doses, con pequeñas dosis, yes, of course it is. It can, it can help. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, are you ready with your answer? And then we go with uh, no sé si ya pasó Carly, no lo noté, creo que sí. Ok, eh, Mardo. Sí, ya pasé. I'm so sorry. Eh, Carlos, ready? Okay, no sé si ya pasó. Ready. No. Please. And then, mm -hmm. Ok. Do you think Thai natural medicine is effective? Yes. With, because in doing, does, perdón, not contain chemical, chemical, or artificial thing. Oh, yes. Yes, artificial. That is something that uh, the other pills or medicine has or have. Okay, thank you. And okay, we're going to uh, continue with this. Here I have a conversation between Rita and Luis. Okay, so here we have, let's check the sentences with ing, con ing. Okay, I guess this is 
second oh, I don't like this line okay so if you notice here we have uh, Rita says uh, Luis good afternoon teacher yes Okay, Joa, thank you for telling me. Yes, who was, uh, uh huh. Mm, dime, eh, Luis. Vamos a leer, teacher. Ah, uh, no, no. Eh, no, lo que pasa es que aquí aparece Luis. Ah, bueno. Ah, por eso. Ajá, ajá. Okay. okay. Eh, tranquilo. <laughs> okay, and so here we have, uh, pero bueno, ayúdame entonces. Tú eres Luis, Luis, siendo Luis, Luis being Luis. And here we have Steffi. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Comienza Luis. Steffi. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. Is just want to confirm some information. Hey Rita, it sure is that me. I want to know who are uh, finding the annual conference this year and where it is it taking place. Well, the stuff is at Attending and the conference is taking place in the grid room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are every night on Friday morning. Okay, perfect, very nice. And let me see. Uh -huh. Arriving by the way, okay. Thank you, very nice. So, sure, uh, conference, right? Uh, by the way, arriving, yes, that's it. So, here we have Luis. Buenas tardes. Uh, cuando decimos this is Rita, cuando estamos llamando, decimos this is Rita en lugar de decir uh, this is Josué, en lugar de decir I am Josué, or my name is Josué. Es como cuando llamamos hola, si sí, te saluda a tal persona. Uh -huh. Si está hablando Elisa, oh, hello, this is Lisa. Si Carlos habla, hello, this is Carlos. Esa es una manera. Igual, cuando vamos a presentar a alguien, decimos, uh, hello, everybody, this is Kenya. This significa este, esto o esta. En español se escucharía muy pesado decir, uh, saludos a todos, esta es Kenia. Se escucharía pesado, decimos, ella es Kenia. O les presento a Kenia. Pero en inglés es bien común de utilizar this para decir ella es, o en mi caso, this is Josué. Ok. So that, that, that's why she, eh, Rita says this is Rita. Ok. Eh, eh, te habla Rita o, o soy Rita, la nueva secretaria. Solo quiero confirmar eh, alguna información. Um, Permítame. Let me see. Solo tengo que enviar algo. Ok, uh, confirme uh, la, la información. Hola, Rita. Hey, Rita. Uh, sure, tell me. Seguro, dime. Quiero saber quién va a atender la conferencia anual de este año y dónde to eh, tomará lugar. Bien, el, el equipo de informática va a atender y la conferencia va a tomar eh, lugar. War en, en el gran salón. Rita, por cierto, um, when are the materials? ¿Cuándo van a llegar los materiales? ¿Sabes? Got it. Yes, entendido. Sí, uh, they're arriving on Friday. Van a venir el viernes. En la mañana del viernes. Cuando decimos got it, es como ha ah, entendido. Ok, porque Rita le estaba preguntando. Así que got it, got it, got it, got it. Ok, so that's it. We're going to have... Uh, Conversation. Eh, parece que Carito está un poquito ocupada. Vamos a pedirle a Ana. Viene Carito con todos los poderes. 
para que nos tomen la captura, please, si no tienen el manual algunos a la mano, ¿verdad? A veces enviamos carito medio con las capturas porque... Me hice tirando la Pero, por la teacher, ya, ya la había mandado. Thank you, my dear friend. Gracias, mi querida carito. Okay. So, we're going to practice a little bit. See you in one minute.
Okay, we're going to start here with Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo, look at this. Here we have three questions. Tenemos tres preguntas, okay? Um, nos hace falta ciertas palabras, okay? Um, necesito que selecciones una, okay? What do you select? One, two, or three? ¿Cuál selección? Uh, one. Okay, one. Are the materials arriving? Vamos a buscar esta pregunta acá. Let's see. ¿La alcanza a saber? Está en negrita. Arriving. Uh -huh. Do you know? When sí, are the materials arriving? Yes, perfect. When are the materials arriving? That's it. So, when are the materials arriving? Yes. So, now let's go with number two. And Gabriel, can you help me with number two or number three? What do you select? Gabriel, yes. One. One is taken. Ya la dijo Wilfredo. Can be two or three. Uh, two. Okay. Is attending the conference. Did. Aha. Uh -huh. ¿Qué haría did falta? The staff. Did. No. No, no, Gabriel, no estamos contestando las preguntas, solo estamos completándolas. La palabra que les hace falta. Ajá. Sería. Ok, la palabra que le hace falta es. Who are. Who are. Ajá. Who are. Who are. Who are. Yes. Who are. Eh, ok. Eh, aquí dice Isa. Who are. That's ok. Carlos. Yes, Carlos. Are you ready with number three? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sería when. Okay, when, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, when is the meeting? Take, uh, where? Many, many. Where? 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 Uh -huh, where? Okay, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Carlos. Good. Now, here we have when do you become an adult? This is a very interesting question. Cuando te conviertes en adulto? Okay. So for this uh, show, we have Carito as the first participant. Bien, Carito, cuando uno se hace adulto. I don't know, teacher. Yes, I know. have a short answer. Why short when answer? You're, when you start spending all your money paying bills. <laughs> paying. I don't have an answer, I don't know. Well, I, well, you consider that that's like a reference, una referencia. When you pay your bills, you become an adult. Well, I think it makes sense. Eh, pues, sí, tiene, bueno, sí, tiene lógica, right? When you pay bills. Nobody likes bills or taxes. Y no digo taxis, digo Taxes. Oh, yes. Impuestos. Yes. Nobody I pay likes. a lot of taxes in El Salvador. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, yeah, 23% every month. Okay. 10% additional every year. I'm sorry, Carito. Yes. So that's it. So, well, thank you, Carito. Oh, yes. Carito dice que es, ella se sentía ya adulta. Nice, Carlos. Do you have uh, an answer? Then we go with Walter. Yes, teacher. Never, teacher. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. We because uh, after gym we go we grown up to the study of adult we never stop being children because of the the abrio. Okay, que nunca llegamos okay. a ser adultos. Okay, that's it. Well, well, another point. We are like we have kids inside. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, what if we listen now to Luis and then William? Okay, Luis. Okay, teacher. Este. Uh, according to our laws, it is from the eyes of Erin. However, however, you are an adult when you already have your own responsibility 
and when you decide for yourself what you want in your life. Mm. When you take your own decisions, right? And maybe very important decisions, right? Well, when you decide for yourself. Mm. Look at this. Okay, Gabriel, gracias for activar el micrófono. Y ahora lo vamos a desactivar. Okay, and here we have with William and then Ellie. Okay, teacher. Okay. I consider that you become an um, adult when you go through different tests of life and you have responsibilities within the family and you have the contribute to pay for the house, household expenses, payment of fields, and much more. I believe that you become an adult, more responsibilities. You have, ha you have. That's it. You have, have. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And there are a lot of things that you can collaborate. Even uh, you are living with your parents, but you can uh, begin to pay for, for the things that you consume. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay, thank you, William. Perfect. Ellie, and then we go with ah, con Walter, creo que estamos también. Well, Ellie and Walter. Okay. When do you become an adult? At the moment or at that you are mature enough to be responsible for yourself and assume the consequence of your action. Why? Because, because being an adult does not depend on physical physical I online. It it is several factors such as responsibility, maturity, independence economic. Very nice. Uh, independence economy. Okay. You get mature. Well, uh, I here I have like a, a specific point. Women and men uh, don't get the maturity at the same time or at the same age, right? Well, it depends. It depends on the type of life that you have, or the responsibilities that you take, okay? Or they are given to you. Si toma responsabilidad o si te son designadas, designadas, etc. Well, interesting. Assume, asumir. Very important word. Thank you, Ali. Okay, Walter. And after Walter, we go with Adonai. Um, when someone depends on and you, he when when sleep five hours. <laughs> okay, when someone depends on you, when alguien depends on you, okay, depends on you. Interesting. Adonai, and after Adonai, we go with Kenya. Okay, I think I consider that when I began to have more responsibilities, such as working, paying for my studies, and also when I curate more David, as well as, uh, as, well as when I decided to for a home. Okay, yes, you can say it like that. Well, debts are, uh, well, it's an important word. Thank you, Adonai. Deudas. Okay. Here in El Salvador, we have a lot of debts, and but they are not so necessary. Well, but it depends on your uh, own finance administration, depending on the administration of finances, and, well, and some other aspects. But thank you, Adonai. When you start working, cuando comienzan a trabajar, that's another interesting. Okay, we go now with Kenya, and then after Kenya, we go with um, Mardo, if he's ready. Okay, Kenya. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, when you see life with a lot of maturity, with discipline, discipline, with responsibility, and that 
try to make our your goals come true. Okay, when you want to reach your objectives, but you have to, to make a sacrifice for that, okay, that, that's really important. Thank you, Kenya. Mardo, and then we go with Oscar. And when do you become an adult? When you got it, ID. <laughs> when you <laughs> get your ID, when you want to do it. Well, when you what? Yeah. Excuse me, Emardo, can you repeat, please? When you got it, ID. ID, identification document. Ya te dan tu DUI, tu chiqui DUI. Well, yes, uh, I don't remember who was saying what was talking about laws, acerca de las leyes. Yes, uh, by right. Mm -hmm. When you get uh, 18 years old, the DUI is 18. So you get your ID. No, teacher, porque llegan los 18 como que fueran de 5 años los chicos. Yes, nowadays it is like more frequent. <laughs> es más frecuente ver muchos eh, jóvenes, but they are very immature, son bien inmaduros. Uh, normalmente es, eh, los jóvenes son así, but now I can see like some... Pero attitudes. llegan a viejos y también son inmaduros. <laughs> <laughs> Especially men. Maybe men, we don't get mature, quizás no maduramos completamente. Right? It can be possible. Right, Ellie? Right, Carita? Maybe. Ah, no dice nada, Ellie, dice, porque no. Porque después nos va a contar cosas. Okay. Oscar. Are you there? Okay, teacher. I think, I think that one becomes a, an adult from 18 to 21 year old, depending on the stage of life, but many young people become adult early for some reason. reason. For example, they become parents at an early age or start working young. Possible, yes. possi possible they are the living home or yes. the house. I guess that mainly when they get jobs or responsibilities because there are, uh, yes, they are supposed that when they get, they are parents, like in a, well, uh, premature, cuando están prematuramente, son prematuramente padres y madres, they are supposed to be adults, so, supuestamente son adultos, but maybe they need more responsibilities, yes. Well, to, to have it like, you have to do things and, eh, aware, ser consciente, be aware that people depend on que la gente depende de ellos. Ok, thank you, Oscar. Very nice. Now let's go to the listening part. Vamos a la parte de listening. Vamos a escuchar un audio. And please take notes as much as you can. to live a peaceful inhale. I'm sorry. Now let's start. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. 
promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, let's listen again. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, now, so you tell me the words that uh, you identify. Let's listen to Steffi. Any word? Environment technology. Good, environment technology. Okay, Carito. And then Walter. Okay, Carito, show time. Okay, um, environment, plastic bags, atmosphere, next generation, several ways, natural resources, we must stop, eco-friendly, clean atmosphere, and simple lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Eco-friendly, yes, atmosphere, very important words. Thank you, Carito. Good. Uh, Walter, Eli, do you have some other words? Um, eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. Adopt the style um, in natural. Not e adopt, e adopting, adopting, mm -hmm. adopting. Yes, that's it. Okay, good. Ellie, do you have some others? Okay. Say environment, agri cleaning, only in plastic, only in plastic bus, in natural environment, adopting e technology. Mm -hmm. Perfect, nice, good. And captaron varias palabras. Okay, any other person who has uh, some other words? Bueno, yo teacher. Mm -hmm. Say environment, environment, algo así hoy. Environment. La, environment, ajá. Eh, light, eh, plastic bag, mm -hmm. wheel, eh, come on. In the technology. Okay, good. Thank you, Kenya. Okay, we're going to check it. And if you notice, there are some keywords. Hay palabras claves y creo que ya captamos de qué trata este audio. Okay, so let's see. This is uh, safe environment. Environment. ¿Verdad? Como que salvemos al medio ambiente o salva al medio ambiente. Say environment. Ok, let's listen. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, do you have um, some words that calls your attention? Algunas palabras que llamen su atención? Maybe wood, wood, como woody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poly is. Where is it? Where is the poly? We must, in, in the second, one second, we must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags. Poly. Ah, yes, poly and, yes, um, tela, polyester. Ah, polyester, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. thank you. 
You're welcome. Plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. Plastic eh, bags, bolsas de plástico, y prefer... Y amigable preferir. al medio ambiente. Yes, eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. Items, que son los items, ¿verdad? Cosas que son amigables con el medio ambiente. It means if you go to the supermarket, you can have like your own bag, ya, llevar su, su, su propia bolsa o bolsa de, de papel, something like that, right? Okay. So those are okay. like suggestions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Um, I like that that you uh, wrote somewhat a lot of words. Okay, and we're going to check, let me see. Um, here we have this. I'm sorry. Just give me, okay. We're going to practice a conversation, but let me see. I don't know why. No me da la opción de. Okay. Solo estas dos conversaciones y terminamos. Dice, uh, what classes are you taking next term? ¿Qué clases vas a tener el siguiente ciclo? Uh -huh. I am taking math and history. Nice. I am taking math too. Voy a tomar matemática e historia. Qué bien. Yo, ta yo también voy a tomar matemáticas. Who is teaching the class? Prof. Smith or Professor Smith or Teacher Smith. Uh, prof. Professor Smith is teaching it. Oh no, I hear his heart. Oh no, Escu he escuchado o escuché que eh, él es difícil. Four, what is, going, what is going on tonight? Cuando decimos, what is going on? Es como, ¿qué hay? What is going on? A veces cuando se, se, pre se saludan, hello, hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué hay esta noche? Bill is having a party. Bill va a tener una fiesta. Or oh, really, when and where. Fíjense, cuándo y dónde. O sea que quiere ir. He's having, uh, he's having it at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? ¿Quién va? Everyone's going. You should come. Todos van. Deberías de venir. Okay. So maybe here we have. Should. Recuerden, should. Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's. Todas las palabras las conocen. Here. Hard. Math. Con feta, math, math, math. Yep, that's it. Okay, Carito, could you help me, please? Y en esta sesión lo vamos a tardar como dos minutos porque necesito sus otras opiniones. And we finish the class. Okay, ready, right, Kari? Perfect. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay. Hello. Eso quería ver si estaba sola. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero ya está Andrés acá. Perfect. Tarde pero seguro. It is start.
Okay, here we have uh, this. Elisa, who was your classmate? Can fue tu compañero, Elisa? Wilfredo? Wilfredo. Can you help me with number three, please? Wilfredo, tú comienzas. What okay. classes are you taking? What, what class are you taking next time? I am taking. I am taking math and history. I am taking math and history. Nice. nice. History. I, nice. I am taking my two. Who? What? Who is teaching the class? Uh, Prof. Smith is teaching is. Oh, no. I hear his heart. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Now uh, let's go with uh, the last one. And Carito, please, conversation for with Andres. What is going on tonight? Okay. What is going on tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh, really? When and where? He's having it at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. That's perfect. Everyone's going. You should come. Okay, and now we're going to finish with some other opinions about when do you become an adult and why? And for this one, I'm going to listen to Carly. Carly, are you ready? Okay, um, my opinion have uh, a, ay, se me olvidó, no lo anoté, este, responsibility. Okay, when you are responsible or responsibility. Ah, responsible. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice, uh, Kenya. No, teacher, ya. Ya, ya, ya pasaste, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, Wilfredo, and then Gabriel. In my opinion, when you learn to take responsibility and good decisions. Oh, nice, good decisions. Buenas decisiones, something important in our Salud. life. Ah, Carito, come on. Yes, I know you have had good decisions. Sé que has tomado buenas decisiones alguna vez. Hey, we finish with Oscar. Please, Oscar. Ah, no, Oscar ya, ya pasó. Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh, okay, for me, you are an adult when you have suspicion. Me, okay. Mature, mature, mature. Uh, do, do, do thing and a city like an adult. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ariel. Very nice. And Edwin, we finish with Edwin, okay? Okay, uh, uh -huh. I, I think that when you start to worry about debt, you get stress, you have responsibilities, you get sick more often, and you worry about getting to work early so that you don't get fired, you become an adult. Okay, yes, those, uh, those characteristics are part of, of us. Thank you very much. And we now I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Uh, Mardo Keo, Mardo, it's your turn for uh, this 10 minute session. Okay, so say hello if you listen your name. Andres, hello. Hola, hola. Los. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carito. Present, teacher. Good night. Nice. Good night, Edwin. Good night, teacher. Good night, Elisa. Present, teacher. Good night. Steffi. Yeah. Present. Good night. Gabriel. Pres present, teacher. Okay, Jackie. Thank you. Joanna. I guess she's not. Carly. Present. Kenya, thank you. Luis. Good night, teacher. Ricardo, good night. Oscar. Raquel. Walter. 
Hey, teacher. William, goodbye. Marvin and Wilfred. Present, teacher. Okay, my friends. Se Present, teacher. Que, okay, thank you. I mention it, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Como no, William. Sí, dije well, William. Well, yeah. Okay, hey, William. present, teacher. Thank you, Sorry. thank you. No okay. problem. Good night, Descansen, se recuerda que ayer dije que, no, que los salvadoreños nos cuesta seguir indicaciones. Miren cuántos se fueron cuando dije, escucharon su nombre. Ya ven. No prueba más de que tengo razón. Ok, my <laughs> friend. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Dream on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, um, the person who was supposed to be here in the 10 minute uh, session is not available. So um, we're going to have a feedback uh, about the class. Uh, we developed uh, this, uh, well, recently. The topic is simple present for temporary situations. And if you notice, and here we have uh, the structure. Hello, Oscar. Yes. Um, creo que por accidente te conectaste, verdad, Oscar? Okay, no problem. Okay, maybe we have like a difficulty with this. And um, here we have uh, this grammar structure. Tenemos la estructura gramatical. Okay, and in this, um, we have affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and interrogative sentences. So the grammar point uh, is like this. How to use present continuous WH questions. WH questions ask for specific information, structure, WH word plus B plus subject plus verb ING plus complement plus a uh, question mark. And uh, WH questions were are what, when, where, why, which, who, how. And here we have examples. Why is he meeting the new people today? 
When is the new office launching? Where is your boss having the annual meeting? Okay, so uh, here we have like these examples of how to create open questions with uh, present continuous. And then here we have the exercise. Fill the blanks using the words in parentheses. What company are you working for? How is he dividing the groups? When is she handing the checks? Which factory is your bus vis visiting this month? Why is the new secretary working the next uh, Saturday? Then here we have a conversation. So in this conversation, we have Rita and Luis. They are having a conversation by phone and Rita starts by saying, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Luis says, hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Luis, well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the new materials arriving? Do you know? Rita says, got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Then here we have an exercise. Use the conversation about to help yourself. Are the materials arriving? The, question, the complete question is, when are the materials arriving? Number two, is attending the conference. Uh, the question is, who are attending the conference? But it uh, here it says, who is Right, and the last is the meeting taking place. Where is it taking place? Oh, where is the meeting taking place? 